So good morning everyone. Today we are going to look at the next fruit of the spirit which is kindness. So before we start let's add kindness to our tree. So what is kindness? Well, it means the act of helping and serving other people by showing them generosity, goodness and compassion without expecting anything in return. And there's many ways we can show kindness to others and we're going to have a look at some things now. So these are just some small ways of being kind. But we can all often ask ourselves a question, why be kind at all? Especially to those who are often unkind towards us. Well, we should be kind because God was first kind to us. See, God has shown great kindness to his people. And the first act of kindness is recorded right at the beginning of the Bible in Genesis, where God created a beautiful world for us to live in and where we could have a loving relationship with God. But we rejected God's kindness. We rejected God and every one of us has done that. But even though we've rejected God, he still loves us and he still shows us kindness. And you can see that all throughout the Bible. Now in a book in the New Testament called Titus, in chapter three, verse four, it says this. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God appeared to us, he saved us. Not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit. You see, the greatest act of kindness this whole world has ever seen, the costliest gift of all, was given by Jesus on the cross. This act of kindness saved sinful human beings from death, from separation from God and from sin itself. This is the greatest gift in history and it's given to each one of us if we choose to accept it. When we think about the kindness of Jesus, it makes us want to be kind to others because it shows our love and thankfulness for him. You see, true kindness comes from God. And as we follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit helps us to be kind to others. It ha he helps us put others in front of ourselves. So I'm sure there are many ways you can think of showing kindness and often it can be as small as saying thank you. But I tell you something, the greatest act of kindness a Christian can do is by sharing the good news of Jesus. We often get embarrassed about doing this, we often struggle because we worry about what people will think or say. But if we truly love people, if we truly want to show kindness, 
then we'll want to tell them about Jesus and what he's done for them. We'll want to tell him about his wonderful gift of forgiveness and the new life he gives. Showing kindness reflects the character of Jesus. It shows that we belong to him and want to serve him. So this week, I want you to remind yourself of the kindness Jesus has shown you. And I want you to thank him for that kindness. But I also want you to be kind to everyone you meet so that you can show that you love and follow Jesus. So that's all we're going to look at this week. And I hope that you have a really great week and I'll see you soon.